Here, this thing is charging two speakers here, full force, 20 watts. But we want to uh, check now if we can connect this thing. Here, prime charger. Device is detected. We are close to the device again. We did this before. It should be in here. Now we want to do Wi-Fi now. Now that I have um, an email in here, I can do Wi-Fi. I need to enter the name of the pass the thing. Okay. What is my network name? So I have my network name in here, and then let me see if this works. Oh, I have a time in here. See this? Wi-Fi connected. The time is working, so now I have Wi-Fi connection, and they have all my data. Okay, and then I can see here probably a curve of uh, how much I get here, charging mode, clock display on, power schedule, this kind of thing. But I want to check for update, firmware update. Secret features, this features serial number, firmware upgrade here, down here. So version 1018, that's the new version. We are at 1018 and 1038 is the, the firmware. Do not power off or adjust controls during the firmware update process. Please update the firmware to the latest version. Okay. This version adds support for firmware upgrades over Bluetooth and fixes some issues. Do not power off or adjust controls during the firmware update process. But uh, I'm connected to the charger, so I'm charging right now. Maybe should I stop charging? It doesn't say it in the manual, but I am careful. I'm just going to unplug this stuff here. Everything. Man. Okay, so I have everything what I had on there unplugged. And now I say update information. Do not turn off Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Keep the device as close as possible. Please do not close the application during the update process. Okay. The application is at 87%. Yeah. I hope you can see this here. Yeah. Now it does a firmware upgrade on this thing. It shows on the display here, upgrading. <clears throat> shows the percentage goes, however it goes, like from one to three percent. Like, this looks like this takes a while. And what if it dies on the way? Oh my god. Yeah, I leave this there. You guys can see how this goes. So I don't know if my phone goes into sleep mode or not or how this works and also it didn't say anything about resetting this right do i have to reboot this thing after the update or does it do it on its own we will find out i guess and it's not linear right you see this it's not smooth it is just going like and it pushes like a few percent Wow. This is how this goes. So, yeah, all you need is give them access to your email address. Okay, email address. Then you uh, can open this account, this Anchor account, with your email address. Okay, then you get an activation code with your email. And the activation code you have to enter then on this website there. And then it lets you in. Okay.
Okay, once that happens, you saw this here. We have to connect the device to your Wi-Fi at home. So what gives this device access to your home Wi-Fi? So it is in your home Wi-Fi and it's able to contact and talk to outside and send data there. Right. 51%, look at that. We're almost half done. I am excited about this device for the reason of this thing being able to have an app where you can see on the app how your charge is okay or not. And most likely also it has functions in there where um, it gives you a notification on your phone when your charge is ready. On the other hand, you should always watch your charging efforts. You know, like I heard like that uh, some of those devices that the um, charge port, charge port here, something like this, USB-C charge port that that started burning up. So I saw that on Reddit. A friend of mine notified me about this kind of thing happening right now. So that some devices with uh, not the original chargers, what this is, this is not the original charger for my speaker here, right? So this speaker here, this is not the original charger, but I charge my speaker with that, right? If there's a problem and you burn off your device and it catches on fire, then you're in trouble, big trouble. So you should better watch things when you charge, right? I'm not a fan of charging overnight. So when you watch it and it smokes or whatever, you can disconnect and do take measures, you know. But if you sleep and you charge this thing under your bed, I am not sure if that is a good idea, especially with lithium-ion batteries. So, this thing is not hot or anything. It's normal temperature. As it said in the instructions, do not play with the uh, buttons. It has only one button. Okay. Not playing. But it sure takes its time. Now, how do we like this here? You see this? Oh. Okay, so we retry. Update. Update. Now it does again. <clears throat> Update failed. Isn't that the thing? Nothing you can do about it in this moment. We, we try it again. It does say updating. I don't know what this means. <clears throat> so is this a problem with the phone or with the device or the network connection? There is no feedback from either device what's happening, right? But I see on my phone it has um, a connection there, right? It does have connection. I don't know. And then at this point it has to not touch anything. Oh, look at that. What happened there? See this? So this thing now uh, goes back to normal. This thing says updating. What, 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 what does it mean? So is this thing back to normal or what, what is happening? Is, can I now look into things? Anchor has been running in the background. Here it says updating. This one shows the time. So that means this one is connected to the web, right? Otherwise it wouldn't show time. Oh, here. Update failed. Okay, we don't go back there again. Let's see if we, uh, if this device is still here. Here we can select this device. It looks like it's Wi-Fi. Here it's Wi-Fi. It's there. Firmware upgrade. 
Also, Update, Update. It says Updating. Let's see what here. Now it says Upgrading. See? 1%. So it does it again. I don't know. <clears throat> you see how the percentage goes so fast now? I don't know why that is. Different from the first time. But um, this when you try those things, when you try to update a small device like this, I mean, this can happen. You could break it. I think it's advisable to update once you receive it because um, there's the possibility that you can return it if it doesn't work. So if you wait too long, let's say you wait a year and then decide to update, then you're maybe not able to return it. So I think it's a good idea to try this update early on when you purchase it while you're still under warranty. Look how fast the update goes now. That means it did it this far, the update. It's just not having to rewrite the same stuff. I mean, why is it so fast, right? Initially it was slow and now it's fast. I mean, this is so weird. No? Waiting for the device to restart. Now it says restart soon. Okay. It turns off. Am I glad that I disconnected my devices before that I didn't, that I was not in charging mode, right? Okay, so there it's back. It did restart. Firmware upgrade successful. Now we have a successful message. Done. If we go back here to our firmware upgrade here. There we are. We are on the latest version so this is a good thing mm, that means um i can now now i have a timer here i can reconnect my charging let's charge this one and then i had this one connected here on a1 there <coughs> 20. So yeah, that is. So you saw how it updated. I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one.